Halo. There's a museum here in the town. Stolberg. Ja, in der Herz von Deutschland. Germany they put a lot of old furniture out sometimes they throw very good furniture away this building has slanted quite a bit sometimes you can find really good furniture on the side of the road because people just get bored of it We are here at the Stolberg Schloss, the Stolberg Castle, which is a medieval castle in a medieval town. And uh, this town is very interesting because it's got your classical medieval architecture with the wood beams filled with, with building material. And it makes me think a lot about Quetlinburg, which is uh, a very big town. But what makes this town interesting is that it's nestled between the mountains on a, a far away from the beaten track and it's got very beautiful forests with very large trees. Now in Aas Nindorf it was three degrees Celsius in the morning. Now over here it's zero degrees Celsius. So you can see there there's some snow at the bottom in the people's gardens. There's snow there in the town. I'm overlooking the town now and you can see that architecture there. They're busy renovating the road coming up here. So we had to walk up. And this town also has a very beautiful church. So you can see, look at this old gate, solid iron. Not steel, but iron. If you don't know the difference between iron and steel, people first started making iron 
and then later on they added carbon to make steel so iron is less durable and it rusts quicker where steel is more durable more flexible it takes a little bit longer to rust just because of a little bit of carbon see as a, a courtyard some information there now this looks like a The town itself looks a bit older than the castle, but I wouldn't know because castles sometimes undergo a lot of renovations and uh, sometimes they break certain parts of the castle down and rebuild it. Very beautiful doors. But this door doesn't look very old. Don't know how we can get in this castle, it looks empty inside. There's my father, so you can see. <laughs> the scale of the tower. It's not too big, it's not too small. And the clock is broken because it's not six o'clock. All right. Okay, we're going up the stairs now, which is finished with a marble. This is glass. Beautiful painting. Marble stairs. It's got a type of a Romanesque essence to it, which is what the Renaissance is all about was a revival of the classical architecture so you can see why it's got that feel to it the bottom here you've got the church of the town They're busy with renovations some more of the town right there Classical medieval architecture. He has the courtyard of the castle, which is very rich in history. And there's a lot of things buried under that ground. This castle is typical Renaissance, so this castle is not as old as the town. I was walking here in this room and I heard something on the other side of the wall and there's this dark hole and I don't know what's in there but there is a, a flashlight here so let's see what's in here oh my word it's a warthog oh it's, it's a dead warthog I wonder what the purpose of this is. Okay, this is the first time that we're actually exploring this castle. And the thing is, my father just told me that 
this castle is partly owned by a family and they ran out of funds so to bring in some funds for some renovations they decided to make it into a museum so uh, my favorite part of the medieval castles are the weapons and these are original weapons first european guns still using flint locks some swords goodness gracious knows what that is oh look at that wow that thing is huge those are obviously some spurs for horse riding look at this beautiful mirror that's original I don't know what this box here is. It's a cabine. That's a cabine. Cabine. Uh, why you feel more? Uh, you make a fire at the bottom. Yeah. That's a fancy fireplace. He has a baby script. Royal style. That chair looks like an old original chair that one not so much in a corner here's a beautiful painting of how the castle looked like there on the mountain you can see it right there is the castle and this is the town how it looked maybe at least 100 150 years ago Beautiful. Okay, here is a cabinet of sorts. Very beautiful, decorated with some pictures. Another mirror. A picture of the room, how it looked like in its original state. Wow, look at that sofa. And all that is beautiful, beautiful table. And here we have obviously two prominent figures. And the ceiling. With a fake chandelier. Okay, let's go into the next room. Here is a beautiful, beautiful desk, working desk. Now old school desks used to have drawers at the top and at the back. And it seems quite impractical because the desk itself uses up a lot of space, but you only have this much space to work with. So that's how it, they used to do it back in the day. A little bit unergonomical. This is a wardrobe, beautifully decorated, and here are some documents. Can't read it because it's written in old German cursive, and there are some prominent figures. Let's see what's in the next room. Ah, my favorite. Look at this. <clears throat> now, this is definitely medieval. This is not Renaissance. Oh, that's real armor. There's a hole in this, this helmet's nose. I wonder if this knight got stabbed in his nose or something. Oh, look at those old school spurs. Look at that rusty sword. Oh, check at those crossbow bolts. Fantastic. 
some real, real old fashioned beer, beer jugs. And then right here you have a modern lift. Old needs new. Some jewelry boxes, book. Yeah, we have a chapel. Okay, we're not allowed to enter there. Oh, well, okay, we've got a beautiful foyer here. Eighteen eighty. That's when. This chapel was built, I think, or at least when those windows were put in. And yeah, it's the chapel at the bottom. Now, in my earlier video, I mentioned at the dome in Haberstadt that in the Catholic religion, the priest is to stand there at the altar when he speaks from the Bible. But when the Reformation came and Catholics started to turn to Protestantism, the priests started using that type of uh, stand when they were preaching from the Bible.